Hey, y'all. It's Gore. You're hurting hippie with another coffee break. And yeah, the title of this one, my Dilo is coming. Yes, I asked y'all, should I do a Dilo? And you've all said yes. I did say I would do it the next day, but I've had very non-traditional days the last two days. I have, I've not been well, but yesterday was worse than usual. And today was better than usual. And I want to do a typical day. I want to, you to follow me through my day on a typical day. So if the day is not typical, I'm not going to start it. So the dialo is coming. I also want to set the record straight because I had a tough morning. I had someone who used to follow and complain a bit really complain huge today to the point that I had to block him. I hate to give critics too much too much airtime. However, this person brought up an important issue, but he blamed it on me. And I'm going I'm not going to say who it is. I'm not going to say where you can find the conversation because I blocked him. Because he started, uh, well, I'll explain. But he brought up a good point. I have recommended, and a few times, these CBD pens and THC pens with some flavoring and stuff like that. He told me he got sick from the CBD, and therefore it's got to be bad CBD or maybe it's the flavoring that he got sick off of or something like that. I went back to him and said uh, that really, first of all, I know what's in it. I know that it's medically sound and therefore cookie. That's my dog just guarding the neighborhood. Uh, that I know what's in it, that I know it's medicinally sound and that if he got sick from it, Perhaps he's having a reaction to CBD itself. Not all of us can take every medicine. Some people have react have poor reactions. There are strains out there uh, that I can't smoke of THC. That, so, anyways, I suggested that. Then he said, if you know what's in it, give me a list. And no, I wasn't... First of all, if people want to have a good discussion around opinions and stuff like that, I'm all for it. In fact, I told him a couple of times I wouldn't block him. But then he started saying, you better block me because I'm going to ruin you. So, yeah, I blocked him because I don't need a whole day of just arguing with somebody who's a little bit out in left field. Maybe he was having a bad anxiety day and I really wanted to get to the bottom of it but not at the expense of my own health. I was having a good day and this really turned my anxiety upside down. So I have to get more CBD. <laughs> but I do want to, in case some of you read it for a bit or, un or have some issues around it. First of all, he suggested that I am paid to promote MMJ or these pen tops or anything like that. I am not paid to promote anything. I sometimes get the product that I'm promoting for free, but more often than not, I try something, I love it, I want to promote it, and I contact the source and ask them, can I review it? That is more often the case. Not always, sometimes they send me something for free and say, would you review this? But most of those people know that if they're sending me something and I don't like it, it won't go up online. If it isn't good medicine, I will not be promoting it. So what happened with this guy? I did find out. And later I tried to tell him that. And I'll explain that. I found out that the, that the makers of these pens have had one other instance of somebody getting sick. They sent a new pen. She got sick again. They started doing some testing. They found that she was allergic to that strain of hemp, X59. They did do some CBD work with a different strain. They use only organic hemp, uh, and they grow it themselves. They 
did some for her w with a different strain and found she was fine. So if you're having issues, it can be the strain itself. It can be the chemical itself. You know, not everyone can take penicillin. Not everyone can take CBD. And he alluded to the fact that, oh, and they're, and they're putting artificial flavors in there. That's not medicine. And I said, first of all, flavoring in medicine has been around since I was a kid and I'm old. It's been around a long time, but it's gotten better. And you know what they're putting in? They're putting in terpenes. Terpenes of blueberry, terpenes of whatever flavor it is. It's a natural flavor going in there. It's purely holistic. It's purely organic. It, people who make assumptions about things, he lost the battle on the CBD because he found out it's probably more like an allergy, not bad medicine. So then he accused of, well, then they put flavorings in. Flavorings isn't medicine. I'm sorry almost every medicine over the counter is flavored almost most of the medicines behind the counter have some flavoring to it and those are usually artificial and it's okay with fda and with health canada it's just really it was a tough morning and i'm sorry this is going longer than usual but sometimes you have to you have to give your critics some air time because I do want to carry on conversation. I'm totally for having differences of opinion, but when the difference of opinion starts with, I can't follow you anymore because I disagree with your one statement here, that's not having a difference of opinion. That's saying I'm right and you're wrong. I'm not right and I'm not wrong. I just have opinions that are covered by an awful lot of fact and research but they're still my opinions and I never tell anybody to do anything. I suggest that they take my information, study more than make your own choice. That's what it's all about. So my friends, uh, Wednesday, it's hump day. I hope you're having a good one. I'm going to get back on track and have a good one. In a couple hours, there's a, a Chinook coming. So in a couple hours, the temperature is going to change immensely from minus 30 to minus 6. And uh, then I'm going to go out and get some stuff done. So peace and cheers. Love and harmony. See somebody without a smile today? Give them one of yours. Peace.